Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is video number nine of non-fiction important MCQs. We have already covered eight equations in previous eight videos. Today we will start from question number 81. 81 questions se shuruat karenge and please keep telling me your score as you were telling in the previous videos. Har question ko sabse pehle apne yaan pa answer karne ki koshish kariye and check afterwards if that is the right answer or not. This way your practice will be sufficient for all the non-fiction topics. Part 9 पर हम लोग पहुंच चुके हैं total 100 MCQs को cover करेंगे there will be one more part please keep telling me your score in comments here comes question number 81 the first question of this video which two of the following events are described in Samuel Pepe's diary the correct answer is option 1 A and B a and B is the option of this question. Let us see kya hai A and B. The Plague of London and the Great Fire of London. Samuel Pepe's ke baare mein jaamte hain thoda sa. He was an English diarist and naval administrator and served as the administrator in the Navy of England, member of parliament and is most famous for the diary he kept for a decade while still a young man. Lagbhag 10 saal tak unho ne diary likhi thi 1660 se lekar 1669 tak. Ye question bhi aapko exams mein aa jata hai. Iski date se related to ye decade bhi yaad rakhi aap. The detailed private diary that he kept from 1660s until 1669 was first published in 19th century. And is one of the most important source of English restoration period. It provides a combination of personal revelation and eyewitness accounts of some great events such as uh, Great Plague of London, the Second Dutch War and Great Fire of London. So, here say option A or B correct and according this option is correct. Next question, question number 82, which according to Thomas Hobbes is the only science God has bestowed on mankind that informs the structure of his monumental work Leviathan. Correct answer here is option 4, geometry. According to Hobbes, Thomas Hobbes, geometry operates within the realm of truth because it is grounded on primary principles or definitions that are known as true because they have been accepted as true. Subse uh, perfect rules jo hote hai according to uh, Leviathan, according to Thomas Hobbes, we can say are the rules of geometry. Or geometry ek aisi cheez hai, ek aisa science hai that God has bestowed on mankind that informs the structure of his monumental work. Next question, question number 83. Who among the following is known to have popularized the term globalization. हम लोगों ने globalization भी सुना है, हमने localization भी सुना है, but this word is a hybrid of globalization and localization, which is globalization. जानते हैं इस word के बारे में. Globalization is the simultaneous occurrence of both universalizing and particularizing tendencies in contemporary social, political, economic system. The notion of Localization represents a change to simplest, uh, simplistic concepts of uh, globalization process as linear expansion of territorial scales as well. The term a linguist hybrid of globalization and localization was popularized by sociologist Ronald Robertson, option A. Uh, and coined according to him by Japanese economists to explain Japanese global marketing strategy. Kis tarike se globalization or localization ek saath ho raha hai specifically in Japanese market. Next question, question number 84. In which of the following essays did Charles Nam first use pseudonym or persona Elia? Essays of Elia ke baare mein aap logo ne suna hi hoga. Uh, my first play, The Two Races of Man, New Year's Eve or The South Sea Horse. Correct answer here is option D, the last option, South Sea Horse. 
Essays of India is a collection of essays written by Charles Lamb. South Sea Horse was the first essay published in London magazine in the name of Elia. Next question, question number 85, match the works with the authors. एक एक करके मैच करना शुरू करते हैं ऑथर्स के अकॉर्डिंग सबसे पहले देखते हैं होमी बाबा होमी बाबा इज एसोसिएटेड विद लोकेशन ऑफ कल्चर लोकेशन ऑफ कल्चर के साथ एसोसिएटेड है देन आई गो फॉर सेविंग द टेक्स्ट सेविंग द टेक्स्ट बुक बाय जॉफरी हार्टमैन then i'll go for culture and imperialism by edward said it is a collection of thematically related essays that trace the connection between imperialism and culture culture and imperialism edward said and uh, julia kristevani the book likhi hai desire in language desire in language a semiotic approach to uh, to literature and art a book by very famous book by julia kristevani इसके अकॉर्डिंग हमारा आंसर बी यानी कि ए के साथ टू मैच हो रहा है बी के साथ वन सी के साथ फोर एंड डी के साथ थ्री दैट इज दी राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सिक्स विच टू कॉन्सेप्ट डेवलप्ड बाय फ्रेंच सोशियोलॉजिस्ट पेरी बॉडियू हैव बिकम इंक्रीजिंगली इंफ्लुएंशियल इन कल्चरल स्टडीज डिसमिनेशन गाइनिस कल्चरल कैपिटल हैबिटस इनमें से क्या कॉम्बिनेशन है The correct answer is option C. Cultural capital and habitus. Bodhi's concept of cultural capital refers to the collection of symbolic elements such as skills, tastes, uh, postures, clothing, mannerisms, material belonging. Cultural capital यहाँ से आता है and habitus is the way society becomes deposited in persons in the form of Uh, lasting dispositions or trained capacities and structured propensities to think feel and act in a predefined way which guides them society hame kis tarike se guide karti hai hamari habits develop karne ke liye as simple as that you can understand that is what we can call habits developed by peri bodu and cultural capital also developed by peri bodu Next question, question number eighty-seven. The term digger is associated with a group of agrarian communists who flourished in England in sixteen forty-nine to fifty and were led by which of the following writer? The correct answer here is Gerald Winstanley. The diggers were a group of religious and political dissidents in England associated with agrarian socialism. and the chief leaders were this person gerald winstanley and william everett william everett naam ke ek person bhi is moment ke sath associated the that name also you need to remember william everett next question question number 88 Who among the ancients prescribed that poultry should both instruct and delight? Correct answer is option four, Horace. Horace's injunction that poultry should both instruct and delight has been repeated so often that it has come to be known as Horatian platitude. So Horatian platitude is usually given as instruct and delight, but sometimes as instruct or delight. Or word ko bhi use kiya jata hai instead of and next question is about the famous linguist braj kachu braj kachu has observed a tendency among indian english speakers and writers to use hybridized lexical terms one example of this is jugar ping pong chai wala or lati charge hybridized terms basically hum aise terms ko bolenge jisme ki एक वर्ड हिंदी और एक वर्ड इंग्लिश से ले लिया गया यहाँ पर हमारा वो वर्ड बनता है लाठी चार्ज कचरू राइटली ऑब्जर्व दैट देर इज सर्टिन सर्टिन स्ट्रक्चरल एंड कंटेक्चुअल कंस्ट्रेंट्स ऑन ब्लेंडेड आइटम्स इंटेनाइज एलिमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द expression such as uh, lati charge the indianized element lati cannot be substituted by another indian expression danda or any other english word that will look fancy nowhere in indian newspaper english newspapers an expression like danda charge has been used so this word is lati charge lati hindi word and charge english word 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 90 व्हाट टाइप ऑफ राइटिंग वाल्टर पेटर डिफाइन एज द स्पेशल एंड ऑपर्चुन आर्ट ऑफ द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी नॉन फिक्शन प्रोज नॉन फिक्शन प्रोज एनी लिटरेरी वर्क दैट इज बेस्ड मेनली ऑन फैक्ट वाल्टर होरेशियो पेल्टर उन्होंने डिफाइन किया हु वाज एन इंग्लिश एसेइस्ट आर्ट एंड लिटरेरी क्रिटिक एंड फिक्शन writer regarded as one of the great stylist as well walter pater defined non fiction as the special and opportune art of the modern world non fiction ek aisi category hai jo ki bahut hi special hai bahut hi opportune hai aur modern world mein we can make extensive use of non fiction works So here we have reached to the ninth part of the video by clicking on the link given here. You can reach to the next part and the previous part, and you may join our classes to cover all the topics in detail. You may click the link given in description to reach to us for admission purpose. Please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and best of luck for any kind of exams that you ever ever appear in your life.